Hi, I'm Sherry from Whole Circle Studio and welcome to the Botanical Beauties Block of the Month and Quilt Sew Along. Today I'm going to give you some tips as you begin to make your sixth Botanical Beauties Block. I think this month's block looks like Garlatia, which is a flower in the sunflower family. What do you think? Let me know below. In addition to this video, please be sure to refer to the tips included in the pattern as well as the links below to additional video tutorials. Let's get started. This month's block has a good number of paper pieces, but the good news is most only have a few sections, so it'll go fairly quickly. You'll notice for the grid block, the pieces I have here, I ran out of letters, so some of the paper pieces are labeled double letters, like AA, BB, and so on. Just refer to the diagrams in the pattern and you'll understand. This month I thought I'd talk about how I typically paper piece in sort of a quote-unquote assembly line type of way. This method may not work well for everyone, but I find that I'm fairly efficient with my time and really enjoy working this way. So how I typically work when I paper piece is instead of working just one piece at a time and filling up each of the sections, I'll go ahead and work all of the pieces at the same pace. So what this looks like for me is, of course, first I'll go ahead and cut out all my paper pieces. And then if I do any pre-cutting of fabric, I'll do all of that. And then what I'll do is I will go ahead and attach section one to all of my paper pieces. Then I'll go through and sew on section two for all the paper pieces, trim them all, press them all, and then move on to section three for all of them. And I repeat that process until all the paper pieces are filled. Some of them will fill up faster than others uh, sometimes. Again, it can be a little bit confusing to work this way, but I find it works really, really well for me. So if you're curious, give it a try. While there are a number of paper pieces that are required for this block, the good news is the critical alignments are minimal when you start joining the paper pieces together. You'll probably want to pay special attention when you are joining the left-hand side of your block to the right-hand side of the block. The final seam will be right here for both the grid and the wreath versions. The most critical alignment for this block is right here at the top of the stem and for the wreath version at the bottom of the stem because there's a little bit more negative space that is required below it. If you're struggling with precision, be sure to use very thin pins and practice the positioning pinning just technique described in previous videos. I can't wait to see your blocks come together. Thanks again for being here and for sewing along with us. I'll be back next month with more tips. In the meantime, if you have questions or comments or something you'd like for me to show in a future video, please let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to share your progress on Instagram using the Botanical Beauties hashtags found in the pattern so we can all check out what you're working on. You can also email me photos of what you're working on. My email address can be found in the pattern. See you next month and happy sewing.